Hey everyone, got another lock clamped up in the vise for you today. This time we're taking a look at this Jeddo, J-E-D-O. It was pinned up by Daz Evers and uh, sent to me by Bill Bacardi. Bill, thank you very much for the lock. Uh, if I'm remembering right, and I always say, and you guys can agree with me, I've got a pretty crap memory for the most part. Um, I don't think I've picked one of Daz's locks before. <laughs> Or this may be the second one. Uh, I'm sure you guys will probably let me know. <laughs> or I could just go look at my videos and see. But uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure. So, well, I got a few picks over here that I just made. And they're just kind of little test subjects. Um, making some uh, picks out of uh, some shorter... Uh, steel feeler gauge stock and uh, laminate them up but they're only going about a quarter of the way up the tang I'm just gonna see how those hold up before I might start making some that way I got this one here this is a uh, hook it's actually in uh, 14 thousandths so pretty thin stuff I'm just using the thin stuff as my testing platforms Okay, got a little click out of four. A little click out of five. Okay, walking forward, I got a little something out of three. Counter on two. Probably not quite enough strength in that pick to really want to turn it. So let me check these other pins and I'm going to have to go in there with a stronger pick. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'll just go with that one. That was a click out of two. Might be all she wrote. I may have overset it. Nope, didn't overset it. I just got a nice little click out of three. Nothing on four. Counter on five. There's a little click off of five. Five feels pretty good now. Nothing on one. Counter on two. And I got a little click, and that was all I got off of it. Five put me into a very deep false set. I almost thought I had that open for a second. So let's see what we have. Oh, and I just nudged one. That opened us up. Um, so let's take a look at it here. Felt like, um, even with my little experimental pick here in 14 thousandths, uh, with the uh, very, very hard hardwood of the uh, purple heartwood. I still got feedback up the pick, so I could feel the vibrations. Didn't seem like it was deadened any at all. So that might actually work out. I haven't, that was the first time I used that pick. All right, so it's actually got a bendable clip on it. So. And my clip bending pliers are somewhere. There they are. That's what I get for not putting them up right away. I wound up over on the cabinet. <laughs> Alright. That was a nice little break too. I've been uh, cussing myself on multi-locks lately and trying to get a bunch of them picked and well, failing on pretty much all of them <laughs> picking them off a of camera that kind of stuff so it's nice to get into a pin tumbler once in a while when you're struggling oh there went that shim uh 
got some more around here. Let me just get some out of the package. Provided I can, there it is. I use those shims until they're about ready to just disintegrate on me. I've still got about 30 of those suckers. <laughs> there, that went in all the way. Okay, see all five are in there and all five had to be picked. Not a bad bidding. Pretty good looking key pins actually. There's our plug. You can see threads and chambers two, four, and five. One and three are left standard. Let's get that out of the way and go ahead and take a look at these pins inside. That's kind of what I thought was on one was a T-pin. Copper spring. A barrel pin. Same type of spring. A nice deep spool. Looks like another copper spring. Got a spool. There's our spring. Let me just flip this around to get five out easier. Five is a serrated pin and pin. For a second, I was thinking it was a drunken spool. All right, and they all got copper springs. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in on this, take a look, and show you what Daz ever stuck in here. It's a pretty cool little lock. Give me just a second. My autofocus is not wanting to play ball here. All right, maybe that's going to have to work. Um, all right, so we got a nice deep spool and one for the key pin. Just checking to make sure it's not a pin and pin with a T pin above it. I've got a serrated or I'd call that a spool for the key pin on two with a serrated barrel pin. I've got a T pin key pin with a nice deep spool, a very sharp lip on the bottom of that. Then I've got another spooled key pin with a spool above it. And then a ser single serrated with a, a nice little serrated pin and pin here. A little serration there. The uh, inner pin's a little bit rough, can snag up inside here a little bit. And then the outer collar's uh, serrated as well. Pretty cool pin. Good stuff. That is a nice lock, man. And, uh,. Well, Bill Bacardi, thanks for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, definitely needed a break for some of those uh, crazy hard multi-locks that Apache Lockport, or Locksport sent me. Those things are next level, guys. <laughs> anyway, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.